Welcome back. Rich Abney joins us now with sports, and there's a pretty neat event happening in town this weekend. Yes, there is. Thank you very much, Aileen. Rugby, of course, rising in popularity across the country, and now a group in town wants to give the young people a place to play it. The PG Nats are joining with the PG Vixens and helping form a youth rugby program, and they're offering a camp tomorrow for any young athletes looking to learn more about this great game. The PG Nats and PG Vixens rugby clubs are trying to start a revival here in town to grow the game they love so much. The first step towards that is a camp for youth aged 12 to 17 in Prince George. Looking to really engage the community in this uh, a sport that's a fantastic community builder. It's full of, uh, you know, all different types of players can play it. So getting people involved in rugby and really learn the basics because that's really the first step. Uh, we're looking to really almost sort of start up an association, something that we can, you know, hopefully build a couple teams within, play some games in the city and then put a rep team and play against other cities. On Saturday, the Nats and Vixens will teach the basics of rugby, building a foundation of skills that will serve the athlete. Passing, rucking, sort of attacking, um, and then we'll also go over the safety aspects of rugby, so a safe scrumming se session as well as how to go into a contact situation, so a tackle or a ruck safely to hopefully minimize the uh, possibility of injury. Numbers are a bit down for both clubs, so the idea to create a youth program was implemented. Giving young athletes a central program will help young rugby players surround themselves with like-minded individuals. You know, with these the schools sort of spread out all over the city, that it's, it's kind of, you need that sort of driving force. You need to say, hey, come with me, and we'll, we'll sort this out. You get them all together, see who's available, who wants to play, and try and construct some sort of format for them to keep playing. Boys and girls are invited, and the club knows there are plenty of individuals interested in the sport. There is a lot to do in Prince George, but we are not Vancouver, so in terms of population, we just don't have enough kids to support it. So kids are trying to play hockey, they're trying to play soccer, they're trying to do basketball and volleyball and lacrosse, and they can do them all, but there isn't really enough kids to support them all. So hopefully what we're trying to do is increase interest and awareness and hopefully some of those kids will, you know, take rugby up as their number one priority. The Nats and Vixens foresee a rugby renaissance in PG. And once a young athlete is hooked, the opportunities are endless. Senior rugby, women's and men's, gives an opportunity to sort of look to something bigger and, and that's a stepping stone to provincial, it's a stepping stone to playing in the Olympics, it's a stepping stone for World Cups and you know and that's you've seen people from uh, people from Williams Lake, people from Prince George before have gone that route and it's a hard route from the north but you know they, it can be done.